Thanks for joining me. This is Danny, and welcome back to Build Brief number three, in which we are going to continue making this boathouse. Um, so in the last episode, I pretty much completed the exterior of the boathouse. However, there are a few things that I'm not happy with. I did get a few comments on the last episode about some adjustments that I could make. Um, both Macronova Ninja and Dagon Zenith um, did like some of the earlier iterations of the front of this build here. Um, and I actually went back and looked at the video that I made and there were a couple of iterations in there that, that I did like better. So I am going to be going with something that I had done already before. I'm going to revert this, the front of the building back to the way it was before, um, one of the earlier iterations. And then I'm going to do some lighting on the inside. I'm going to try uh, some lanterns from Deckercraft. And if that doesn't work, I might try some of the rustic lighting. Um, Macronova Ninja actually also suggested using painted wood um, from Rustic, which I have used in some of my other builds. Um, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to use it yet, but I'm thinking this front porch because I really don't like the ironwood here on the front porch. I don't like the way it looks next to those oak planks. Also, Anze Kejzar, I hope I pronounced that correctly, um, recommended making some chisels and bits um, details on the insides, like computers and radars. I don't know if I want to spend that much time on the details, but I probably will. I'm going to actually look at some Deckercraft stuff and see if I can come up with some nice boathousey type Deckercraft items, or I might chisel and bits some stuff. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do... Oh, I was actually, I was thinking even a vanilla map wall would be pretty cool in here too, so yeah. Let's see how this turns out. All right, I'm doing a little bit of mapping, finishing up our map wall, vanilla style. There, now we can head back, head back to our boathouse and see what it's like arriving and pulling into our little boathouse. I feel like it might need a little more support down there, but <laughs> yeah, I love this. I, I really like how this is turning out. Nice. And that goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. Nice. There's the map of the area. All right. So I am done with this boathouse build for now. We may come back and revisit this um, in the future, but in the, in the next episode, we're going to start doing a little bit of road and bridge building but let me give you a tour of this place before we move on so here is obviously the main boat room of the boathouse that we just arrived in um i got these lanterns from deckercraft they don't emit light apparently um i thought i seem to remember that you could click on them and they would give you light somehow but i can't figure out how to do that um so i have up here an oak plank light um you can tell it's a little different than the other blocks from the inside from the outside it doesn't from the outside, it just looks like an oak plank block, but the lighting is a little funny on the inside. So I'm not going to worry too much about that, but basically it's from Ferdinand's Flowers. You just craft a oak block with a torch and you get that. Um, so that is 
kind of making up for the light that th these things would be emitting. It actually, at night, it kind of looks like the lanterns are, <laughs> the light of the lantern is reflecting off of that. Um, I've got the rustic lanterns in the corner down here with this iron lattice from rustic. The iron lattice is pretty neat. Um, it's actually, well, I don't have any with me, but it's fairly cheap. It's iron, um, but you get 16 from five iron ingots and they connect to each other. So you can make like grids of these or whatever. Um, obviously we have just a vanilla map wall here. Well, that's interesting that half of that island is like that. Um, so we can see our whole area. We can see us in the boathouse <laughs> right here. Very, very nice. Um, and then up here, I did the same thing. I've got the lattice. Um, I ended up putting the uh, oak wood stairs in the, on the inside here just to kind of hide the inside of those roof blocks. Um, so as you can see, I did decide to go with the red terracotta on the outside. Now I had done that in the last episode and then I decided I didn't like it and I tore it down and yeah, but I've brought it back because I decided again that I like it and also Macronova Ninja said he liked it too, which made me take a second look at it and I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. So then I've got the architectural blocks um, out here. These are the balustrades made with the... Um, ironwood, the ironwood logs, and then this is Rustic's painted wood. So it's, you can take any vanilla wood plank and actually I can show you and surround it, surround a die with it and you get these just like you're making terracotta or something. Now there is a recipe conflict in this pack because the quirk also has painted wood or stained planks or whatever. So you have to use the forestry um, work table in order to make the one from rustic because otherwise it'll just make the one from cork. So that's that and that is it. Everything else is still the same from last time. Oh, and I did make a path here. I basically continued the path that we had going through the garden. Um, this is also from rustic. <laughs> I do like rustic's blocks. The, uh, it's the roof tiles um, from slate, the slate roof. It actually makes a really good path. I think it makes a better path than a roof. So yeah, that's what I'm using there. Um, is there anything? I guess that's just about it. So of course I did the terracotta on the back here too. I do like the view from out here. Actually, let's just break that boat so we can <laughs> get another view from the water here. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the view from the water. So I may come back and revisit this in the future and do some little de some more detail work on the inside, some like chisels and bits stuff. Um, I also plan on building a little kind of a pier out here, just a just a simple boat dock to kind of complement that. And if we are if we do get into the more boats mod later, um, we'll be doing that obviously in this area. Um, so in the next episode, we are going to be doing some road work. Now, I'm planning on playing with the uh, car, the ultimate car mod in my Realtek series very soon. And I want to have some roads ready for that here. So we'll do that in this series and we'll play with the car technology in my Realtek series. Um, but it's going to be a bit of a challenge because we have a lot of pedestrian traffic in the town. And I want to make some roads that are going to kind of bypass things a little bit and I want them to take us to a nearby village. I'm thinking probably this one, um, or I haven't done much exploring to the south and I haven't seen any villages down there, but, but I kind of want to do the village thing so that we can kind of go to the villages and then we might actually put some rails along that line at some point as well. And these two villages are pretty close so we might actually connect them with a the road and maybe, I don't know, maybe someday we'll connect it to Mool Town, which was where we started this series. So I hope you join me for that. If you do have any questions, comments, ideas, or whatever about this build or about our roads and our, and it will be, there'll be some bridges involved in that too, and possibly even tunnels. Um, if you do have any comments about this build, um, I'm certainly not opposed to going back and tweaking some things here some ideas come up or whatever so feel free to leave those in the comment section below as well and if you did enjoy this don't forget to click the like button and to join next time thanks for watching bye <laughs>